What's up guys, Faruqi Rose here, back with another video. And today for you guys, we're going to be talking about the brand new look at the Batmobile in Matt Reeves, The Batman. So, uh, we've been waiting for official reveals from The Batman for a while now. Earlier this month, we got the first look at the costume. Uh, we got our first listen to the score. And then, uh, since then, there's been a lot of set photos that have been leaking, of course. But finally, Matt Reeves dropped another series of photos, uh, official photos, of Robert Pattinson in the Batman costume, but probably the biggest star of these photos is the new Batmobile. So we're going to give our very brief kind of thoughts about what we think about the, the new Batmobile, how it compares to the older ones. Um, I uh, think it looks I think it looks really sick. I know a lot of people online are like huge reservations about it because it doesn't look like the typical Batmobile. But really, if you look at the past comics, early Silver Age and Golden Age even, this is how the Batmobile looked like. It was like a, it looked like a, a regular car almost. Um, you can also reference Adam West Batman, which is similar like this. Obviously, this one is much more um, motorized and uh, neo-noir-esque style. Um, and kind of like a grunge type feeling. So, I think it fits, his per fits in perfectly. This is a Batman who's starting out, or at least in his early years. So, he obviously didn't get a handle on all of his technology in like a crazy militarized type setting. Um, I don't know people are comparing it to uh, Ben Affleck's Batman and his Batmobile, and obviously that's a Batmobile at the end, and we don't know how much he evolved and like grew on his Batmobile. Even in Batman series, they showed the past scenes where his Batmobile is like a, almost like a standard car, very old school, very old style, and I think this looks great, actually. Um, it's a great starting out point, and it fits the style of, I think Matt Reed is going for in this film, which is the neo-noir young Batman in a highly technological modern world. And I think it fits perfectly, that hybrid of the old and the new. I also think it looks sick. It doesn't really remind me of a Batmobile, though. Um, you know, compared to the last two, like Ben Affleck's and Christian Bale's. Yeah. But it looks sick. And I guess it goes with his suit, really. I like it. Yeah, I mean, personally, you know, you give the handmade feel that this kind of uh, Batman universe has. Uh, everything feels like different parts. I mean, the car is basically like a Ford Charger. Uh, and it's like a charger that Bruce Wayne had and then he tricked it out and put extra gadgets on it. So in that sense, it's like a modernized Adam West car. Uh, so it, obviously people are gonna, who are used to having like a uh, militarized tank in the Nolan or Snyder uh, versions are going to obviously not like this. But this is more grounded, I feel. It's more in line with what Matt Reeves wants to do. He wants to kind of have that uh, kind of classic, grounded, old-time character. Uh, and of course, this is a younger Batman, so there's always room for a new version of the Batmobile, new version of the Bat costume as the character keeps evolving. But it looks like a good starting point. I mean, everything about him, like I said, feels like uh, it's very handmade. His suits are like different parts of tech kind of coming together rather than one uniform design. And the car is the same thing. You could tell that it's like a basic sports car, a muscle car that got tricked out and all, all the entire of it became technologically upgraded. So. Obviously, some cool things are going to happen. It kind of looks like the Men in Black car. Uh, a little bit of Back to the Future also. I mean, it's a lot of like different inspirations. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, Umar, what do you think? It looks like it's like an older... It looks like it's an old car. Like It looks like this is 1980 or something. Like, this is the car Bruce Wayne would have if he was in the 1980s. But um, doesn't that fit your... It doesn't. You're, you're the one who fits the theory. Your theory was always that you can loosely fit it into the DCEU, and if that's the case, then the 80s would probably be it. Yeah, look, at the same time, I think the car itself actually doesn't have a... I don't like how it looks, but I think, here's the thing, I think the 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 VFX and, like, the cinematography and all the other stuff that's there, I think that'll help, in, like, when we actually see it, like, for real, like, in the actual film, like, when he's actually in it and doing his thing... I think that will be its strength, but I mean, Affleck's is probably the best, and Christian Bale's is better. I like Christian Bale's is armory type, very realistic type thing more. I am not feeling the Batmobile, but I want to see it in the film and, and see how they actually use it, because that can give it a re that can give it a push. What do you guys think about the Batmobile? Let us know in the comments below. From myself, from Zayan, from Umar, and from Samir, this is the Faruqi Bros. We'll see you next time. Peace out.